you clicked it. You clicked it, and I warned you not to click it! I knew you were gonna click it! I was fooling you! It's not gonna be a boring fan mail, it's gonna be a fun fan mail! Now, I don't have as many packages as normal, because I opened them all in the last fan mail video, because you guys mailed it once again, and I thank you for all this awesome stuff. But, I am coming to you today with loads of letters, and there is one big packet full of amazing stuff. Again, if you want to send stuff, the address is below. I appreciate everything you send. If you send me big boxes, they're guaranteed to get opened right here. We're going to have fun. The first package comes from Raymond G. the Warrior. Warrior. When Raymond G. the Warrior sends you a package for the fan mail, you got to open the package, load the starship with the rocket fuel, and rip the package open to find out what's inside. That was a little bit of a warrior impression. The ultimate warrior. <laughs> Holy sheep shit on a shingle. He's got a box full of paper, people. No, we got lots of good stuff. Ooh, there's figures. There's figures. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck, she? It's hardcore cane, she? Oh, my God. What the fuck? This figure is a cane in the ass. What is this, an old Jax figure? It almost looks like the Ringside Collectibles hardcore cane exclusive, but it's an old Jax figure. What a waste! That's fucking fantastic, though! And perfect for GTS Wrestling. Hardcore porn cane is here on GTS Wrestling. Oh, wait a minute. Now, here's a figure I don't have. I passed on this bitch back in the day because I figured, ah, oh, they're going to make it a lead of all the Nexus figures. How about nope, said Mattel. Here we go. Justin Labia. <laughs> he quit. People are like, Grim, what do you think about Justin Gabriel quitting the WWE? I'm like, who? <laughs> now, seriously, I mean, he didn't make much of an impact. I kind of feel bad for him, but... Who the hell knows how he was backstage? Sometimes people's attitudes are their own detriment, and you just don't know. Maybe he was an asshole, and Vince hated him. He's like, yes, you suck. You're good in the ring, but you have no personality, and you annoy the shit out of me sitting backstage playing video games. He won't reach for the brass cock ring. Get rid of him. Yeah. Here's another member of the Nexus. <laughs> Look at this fucker's hairdo. I forgot that he looked like one of those asshole trolls when he first debuted. It's Darren Young, everybody's favorite member of the Nexus. I cannot believe he finally returned with yet another new look. Remember when he was wearing that big fucked up afro in the primetime players? <laughs> Are the primetime players back? I think they're back. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dicks. Millions of dicks. <laughs> That's what Darren Young is looking for. <laughs> Did you know he's the big brother of Rene Young? No. I made the joke on a Dean Ambrose review like three or four weeks ago. And then all of a sudden, Darren Young and Rene Young are going on Twitter about how they're brother and sister. I'm like, hey. I started that shit. Oh, wait a minute. Bow down to the, bow down to the king. Na, 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 na. Why do I have some hair? Why do I have some hair in my ass? I just had an awful realization. You didn't pull this out of your asshole, did you? Those aren't butt pubes, I hope. Ah! Ah! That fucking thing has butt pubes on it. Ah! Triple H with butt pubes. Oh, my God. Oh, wait a minute. This is a badass John Morrison. This one's fucking hard to come by. It's Jomo, the parkour prince. This was from the Mattel Elite All-Star 2-Packs. One of the very few Elite 2-Packs they actually made. Holy shit, what a friggin' amazing figure. All right, there's more on the bottom of the box. Ooh, a fuck pile of cards. Rosa Mendez, eh, muchacho, <laughs> I don't know Spanish, I'm making up words, donde esta, <laughs> oh man, we got all kinds of cards, uh oh, look at this prick showing me his pecker, <laughs> oh, lots of cards here for the kids, for the kids, we got, what? oh, I thought Melina was giving me the finger right there, she's like, hey, fuck you, buddy, oh look, we got Jillian, you remember Jillian, right, <laughs> yeah, me neither, <laughs> And wait a minute, now we got more stuff here. Oh, now there's a bag of Transformers. Caw, 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 caw. It stings mascot. Laser balls. I mean, laser beak. <laughs> and then we got... Oh, mighty Megatron. It's your own loyal subject, Starscream. I had a terrible Starscream impression. Where the fuck's his back thin? Hopefully it's in the bottom of the box here. Oh, look at this. We got... 
This guy! Yeah! He's a, a black truck of some type. And this was from one of the movies and stuff. That was a cool-ass Transformer. And then we got, speaking of Lord Megatron, we got this fucking ice fucker here. Come on, fuck. Turn into a fucking thing. Turn into a Transformer! I don't know how this one goes. <laughs> this was one I actually never had. So thank you, because I don't have him. I don't know how he works. I just looked at him, and I was like, I don't know how to make him a Transformer. I don't know what he's supposed to turn into, like some type of ice bat or something. I'm an ice bat, and I'm coming to get you. <laughs> and then there's a gun. And then, yep, here's Starscream's fin. I hope it's not. I think it's broke off. Failed it. Oh, God, there's a big, long letter here. Reading is for prisoners. Grim, I am sorry for the loss of Super Pop. I respect him for having the funniest and coolest grandchildren. <laughs> it's me, this guy right here with two thumbs. <laughs> I respect Super Pop mostly for being a veteran, and for him being a veteran means that he's bigger and braver man than anybody who stepped foot into the wrestling ring. <laughs> P.S. Can you please say my name like Super Cena, Kane, and Roman Reigns? What's your name again? <laughs> oh yeah, Raymond the War. Hi, Raymond! Put him up, Raymond! Put him up! What the fuck, Shane? It's Raymond, Shane! <laughs> Thank you for all this awesome stuff. And he puts, say hi to Heal Life. Hi, Heal Life! She's probably perioding around town. Who the fuck knows? Bitching about something. Probably open the door any minute now going, Graham, you gotta do this! Graham, you gotta do that! Fuck it. First letter comes from Desiree Rodriguez. Desiree Rodriguez sends me this big fucked up Ebenezer face. Identical, right? Totally nailed the fucking drawing. I sent you a card for you, Heal Life in the Grimettes. I know it says Valentine's Day, but by the time you get it, it'll probably be after Valentine's Day. And look, she did. She sent me this. Daniel Bryan. Goal. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Desiree Rodriguez. Totally nailed it. The next one comes from Jude Hobbleston. Jude Hobbleston says, a picture of me and him from when I met him at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> when I stole Ebenezer's outfit. Totally nailed it at the Royal Rumble. It was so much fun. Let's see what he says. Dear Grim, my name is Jude. Oh, Ibelstin? I don't know. I'm sorry. I butcher everybody's names. Take no offense. I am from Philadelphia. I'm the kid that met you at the Fargo Center at the Royal Rumble. I'm your number one fan. He drew a picture of old Uncle Ebenezer. This is his face. Totally nailed it, dude. Thank you for the letter. Next up, we got Michelle Zimmerman. Michelle Zimmerman, Too Grim, and GTS Wrestling. Whoa! Look at this awesome-ass drawing that he did. Or she did. Michelle, I don't know, is it Michelle? Michelle in France is a dude. Michelle here is a chick. <laughs> so I don't know if you're a dude or a chick, but that is a fucking awesome drawing. You spent a lot of time on that, and I really appreciate it. I should totally hang that up right here on my GTS Wrestling banner. Thank you for that, dude. Or girl. Awesome. Oh, wait, there was words here. Oh my god, they're very tiny words. I hope this wrestling drawing makes you feel good. Yeah, it does make me feel good. Thank you for sending it to me. Hi, kids. <laughs> awesome drawing. This next one comes from Austin. GTS Wrestling on YouTube. Yeah. And then it says, dude, your show kicks ass. Thank you, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I'm caught up with all of your episodes on the main and the second channel. My name is Austin, and it would be awesome if your boy Bork Laser could say my name. Hey, boy, I reckon I thank you for watching all the episodes on the main channel and on the second channel. I bet you sit down in that computer and go boy mode and watch me all day long. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Austin, for the letter. Jonas Moreno. Let's see what... Jonas? Yeah. I thought maybe it said James. I don't know. I get fucked up. Jonas Marino. Hey, Grim. I am your biggest fan. You are so funny. Do hop and Ebenezer Middlesdorf are also awesome. Can you give me the Shield 3-pack? I have one Shield 3-pack. I never even opened it. And, like, it goes for, like, $100 now on eBay. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me just get it off my wall and send it to you. No problem. I'll put it right in this box. Watch your mailbox. It's coming right to you. Nice lie. He did do some cool-ass drawings, though. Look at this. Team nailed it for life. Can you see it? And then, oh wait, so, and then Ebenezer Middlesdorf. Thank you for the awesome drawings, Jonas Moreno. Now we got, this one comes from, has no name on the package. Uh-oh, probably hate mail. <laughs> when there's no name, it's usually hate mail. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, wait, maybe it is. <laughs> it says, fuck you, asshole. There's a picture of Ebenezer Middlesdorf. It says, that's no offense to you, it's to your wife. Oh, fantastic. Fuck you, hail wife, stop perioding around town. 
<laughs> Stop stomping around the house with a sourpuss fucking face. <laughs> Give it to her. She deserves it. Yeah, she should sit on that finger and rotate, right? <laughs> nailed it. Thank you. There's no name on this whatsoever. So whoever you are, nailed it. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got two more letters here. Let's rip through them real quick. We got Gavin Pastelweight. Gavin Pastelweight sends this awesome as hell drawing. It's Ebenezer Middlestorff. Hey, yo. It's Razor Ramon on the t-shirt. We're going to get Ebenezer a Zack Ryder shirt to wear next. And it could be like, hey, bro. <laughs> and then we got, look at Heel Wife. I wish she was this cute and innocent, right? Hello, I'm little Heel Wife. Go make me a sandwich. Okay, I'll go make you a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, right. Those will be the days. <laughs> All right. Final letter comes from Stephen Vasquez. Oh boy, there's lots of cards in here from the Stephen Vasquez. Oh, these are fucking cool as hell cards. These are like, you know, uh, it's like a deck of cards. You know, you can fucking ace, jack, play poker, and blackjack, and all that horse shit. And then he sent a letter that says, Dear Graham, my name is Stephen. I am a huge fan of GTS Wrestling, and you've inspired me to start my own massive WWE figures collection. Yes, it is attainable. If I can do it, anybody can. <laughs> P.S. Say my name in Super Cena's voice. What was your name again? I completely forgot. Oh, hi, Steven Vasquez. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all these cool letters. Graham, I never read the letters. Just did, bitch. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you for sending me all this cool stuff. And I'll be back again in a couple of days with more fan mail right here on this channel. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And thank you for watching. Nailed it. Grim out.